deal, guys. With, with bunks right in front of the plate, okay? And a lot of those things uh, that used to kind of be referred to as imaginary box a little bit, I think, Sam, that's what you were asking about because at Empire School we have people come all the way into the baseline in the imaginary box. Some of that has to do with checking people's mobility at umpire school, all right? <laughs> so that's a, that, uh, that's kind of what is a little bit behind that. But throws coming from a drop third strike, bunt right in front of the plate, what have you, okay? It's still a great position here to be one or two steps off the line, okay? Now let, hear me out on why that is. Because which, which side of the base is your worst enemy here? Which is the one that you're unco or that you that you can't see or that you're uncovered on or whatever? <coughs> if I'm if I'm taking the play from here, that one over there, right? The opposite side. Okay. Now think about it. How many times is Mike going to come off of the bag forward? He's really not because if it, if it's if a throw's coming from there and it's within the framework of his body. He has no reason to go off of the bag that way. You get what I'm saying? He's going to leave the bag one of these two ways. Mike, you're doing it. You're up my whole demonstration here. You're not supposed to come off the bag. Yeah, so I mean, so what I'm saying, you're not going to see a, a fielder, all right, a first base fielder with a throw coming right into his body here, leave the bag. There's no reason for it. Understand? But when he is going to leave the bag is a throw to the sides, okay? If he comes off this way or he comes off this way. And in that situation, you've got the perfect look at those two sides of the bag that he's most probably going to come off of. Make sense? Make sense? You're not going to see a guy go off the edge of the bag that, uh, um, that a, a throw is coming straight into him, all right? The only possible scenario might be where it's a low throw and he ends up trying to dig it and comes off or whatever, but we're playing our percentages, and a percentage is a throw coming from the home plate area. If the guy does leave the bag, he's going to be leaving one of these sides, all right? In which case, I've got a beautiful view at both of those sides. All right, so um, balls in the imaginary box, drop third strikes, things like that. Let's go ahead and stick with that two steps off the line or whatever, okay?